Hi guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with my March, whatever it is, self-care empties where we talk about all things that are not wax related. So I've got like home products, I've got self-care products, I've even got a makeup product this month. So if you are interested in seeing what I use up and how I felt about it, then please stay tuned. So we're gonna talk about my only makeup products. Sorry, I got the box from the new one because it's, it's an absolute repurchase to me. And this is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. Um, I use it in the universal color. It says you, it can be used on your face and eyes. I have oily skin. Um, and I have tried for years to find different, I've used different primers and stuff on my face to just keep my face not looking like a hot, greasy mess. And this is the one product that I have found that works for me. I love it. This is the container that it comes in. It comes with a little spoochula. I lost that. But as you can see, I used every drop up of it. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Look, you're not, okay. The point is it's empty, believe it or not. And look, I've already, I already have a new one right here that I'm using. Um, it does not take much. I love this stuff. I use it pretty much every day. Um, it does a great job at keeping me matte and matte without looking like the life has been sucked out of my skin. It's great. I'm not really a makeup wearer, so I can't tell you. I've heard it w works wonderfully under makeup, but I I'm pretty much a brows and blush and lip gloss girl. So yeah. Um, next up, we used up two hand soaps this month. We finished up G Ghoul Friend, which is uh, dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. I wish that Bath and Body Works would bring this out in um, uh, body care, but so far they have not listened to us. If not, hopefully when Sassy Girl Aroma opens back up, she will be able to bring it back in perfume form. That would be great. And then I used up um, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. This is always a repurchase for me. Glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy cake. And this smells exactly like what it sounds like. So good. I finished up two Febreze um, like air fresheners. I'm so glad because y'all, I went crazy one year and bought like a ridiculous amount of these for absolutely no reason. <laughs> and finally, I'm getting to the point where I have used them up. And so maybe I will consider buying some more now. The first one was an apple cider. I didn't really care for this. Look, apple, cinnamon, whatever. It's generic, wouldn't get it again. But this one in passion papaya, I would get again. This is a really nice, fruity scent. If you hear noises, cause I'm dropping stuff back in my basket. Okay, then I used up a body wash in Sunset Glow from Bath and Body Works. This is fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower and caramelized vanilla. This is always a repurchase for me. I have this in the body care. I love Sunset Glow. This is a good cherry pistachio scent. It can lean more pistachio or you can bring out the cherry note just depending on what you layer, like what perfume you decide to wear with it. It goes great with um, Cheriosa 62. It goes great with like your um, Tom Ford or Tom Ford dupe of his, um, what is that? Lost Cherry. So love that. Um, we got two body scrubs that I use up. The first one is Dove's Exfoliating Body Polish and Crushed Cherries and Chia Milk. I did not like this. It's thin, it's watery, I don't find it to be exfoliating and it's hard to wash off. <laughs> so I won't be getting any more Dove body scrubs. Um, this one is from Trader Joe's and this is the Brazil Nut Body Scrub. It's a dupe for the Cheriosa 62 scent. Um, there's like something on it. That's why I'm doing that with my fingers. Um, I got it last summer. I used it some last summer and I finished it up this summer. Uh, I would say that if you're going to get it from Trader Joe's, it's definitely meant to be used like within a couple of months of getting it. I wouldn't recommend uh, doing that. I do enjoy it. It's a lighter scent, but again, Trader Joe's body scrub formula isn't a love for me either. So I think I'm just going to be sticking with Tree Hut. They have my favorite scrub formula, so I'm good. And then lastly, y'all. We got all of these five fragrance mists that I got through. I got through four and I'm so proud. So the first one that I used up, and this one was a set, is Gingham Gorgeous. And this is, is it gonna tell me what it is? 
the scent notes. I know it's a, oh, here we go. Pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. This is a beautiful fruity floral scent. Um, it'd be nice if Bath and Body Works would bring it back, but I don't see that happening. Next, I used up Love Always Wins, which is um, their fragrance that they come out with normally in June for Pride Month. And this one is, oh, I forgot, they don't put the scent notes on here. Um, I have the full bottle of it, but I don't know if I can quickly find it. But um, this is like, uh, I think it has like pear, and I forget what else in it. Let's see if I can look it up really quick because I love it. This is an automatic, like quick, like when I got the mini and I realized how much I loved it, I, I went and got the full size. And this is one that I have the matching um, lotion in as well. Let me see. Love Always Wins Bath and Body Works. Let's see if I can find the scent notes. Okay. Um, please work. Get out the way thing. Sometimes it'll tell you something's there, then you go try to look for it and it's not it's not gonna show up. Okay, Fragrantica. Fruity, tropical, woody, star fruit, coconut water, and cedar wood. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a unisex scent. I love it. it. Smells great on me and my skin. I also know there are some men who enjoy wearing it as well. Hey, it's fabulous. Then I used a golden eclipse. And this is glowing berries, shimmering blossoms, and some warmed woods. I would not repurchase this. I was glad to have used this up and to be done with it and have it out of my collection. Um, I think this was just one that I just bought just to buy for no apparent reason. And then the last thing that I used up is Vanilla Tropic um, with Bright Lotus. And this is from Victoria's Secret. And this is Bronze Vanilla Bright Lotus and Found Paradise, whatever that is. This is a delicious tropical fruity type scent. And I really enjoyed it. I would repurchase it again, but Victoria's Secret does not tend to bring out the same scents, but they always bring out something fun every month, so or every month, every season. So I will continue to repurchase from them. And honestly, I'm enjoying what they are releasing more than what Bath & Body Works has been releasing lately. So those are all of my self-care empties. I am proud of what I got through for the month. I'm really working on trying to um, downsize my collection just a little bit and really get things out of it that I don't enjoy or that just no longer serve me. So uh, I would love to know, have y'all been using up any products lately? Any, I didn't use up any perfumes this month, but any fine fragrance mist or body scrubs, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this and you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would decide to subscribe. And with that, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.